Hey there, Steel. It's a um, game changer. So, yeah, we um, found out the time to have a little look at your base. So, um, first glances, everything looks absolutely solid. Uh, spawn zones uh, very very good you're forcing your opponent uh, quite far out which is excellent uh, just got a little bit of a sliver there um, now if you spawn on there you've only got to move obviously um, a, a little way and then you're underneath the uh, the uh, peacemaker I mean you're probably covered by um, that um, that howitzer uh, there but maybe just tweak just tweak one of these um, metal um, storage facilities a little bit this way, a little bit more towards that, uh, and then obviously close that gap there. Just a small a little thing to watch out for. Um, the only thing I would probably look at, I mean, you've got two peacemakers in there, which I really like, and they kind of are covering each other. Initial thoughts, I thought, oh, I've got a little bit of a sweet spot underneath there where um, I'd only have to roll, obviously, a fraction to get underneath the, the peacemaker. Uh, obviously, you've got good cover from um, the railgun here, but I think that's probably maybe something just to have a little uh, look at. I'd maybe get a mine perhaps in that sort of area there just to um, obviously prevent sort of getting getting in from that sort of point uh, or at least to slow them down a little bit. Uh, again, you've got cover from the howitzer to a degree, so I think you're covering your sweet spot by the look of it, but you know, I'd maybe just have a little little tweak of that. Um, uh, obviously, you've got my heavy machine gun in there anyway, uh, level 8 to be fair, so... Uh, it's probably going to rip some uh, some damage. It's, I'm just always thinking, can I park a tank there, take take the damage, and then get in amongst you and take out probably these three to four turrets here. Um, you know, I mean, yes, you're covered by that a degree as well. So it's just whether I can my armor allow um, outlive your um, your mortars, I guess, isn't it? The only thing I would possibly have a little look at um, if I were to. Uh, deploy uh, would would you find that uh, when your uh, war factory um, and your barracks spawn you've got some little gaps in the walls there have a little look uh, at your replays am I right in thinking that um, your um, Zeus your troops whatever you've got in those uh, bases are they going to leak are they going to come out of that base and head towards uh, I'd be trying my best to keep them inside the walls there, so when the walls do go, um, that's another uh, thing for somebody to contend with. It's, it's almost like an extra turret in a sense, isn't it? Um, so I'd be able to look at that. Um, I think the only other thing I would uh, look at as well is the mine placements for me suggest that you're already on the base. Um, I'd maybe, maybe just have a little bit more range, because uh, I would be tempted from this side here, Obviously, I'm going to uh, be able to get to your uh, two um, flak and two, uh, and sorry, and your salvo. Um, so maybe, maybe you need a little bit more gunnage uh, at that sort of side. Um, I'm surprised as yet you've not got the big turret in there. Um, that's that is uh, absolutely a force to be reckoned with. So I'd be uh, investing in that if you haven't already, uh, or if you're not looking at that. Uh, make sure you do. Uh, I think that's an absolute fantastic turret to have. It's certainly not impervious to taking out, but it's another thing to think of. Um, so yeah, I'd probably have a look at that as well. Um, other than that, mate, there's not much I could say really. I think everything is is working. Um, quite like you see that in the middle. That's giving fantastic coverage all round. Maybe just bring the airfield a little bit this way, a little bit towards um, where it says you have a friendly relationship. Maybe if you just brought it that way a little bit, you make this spawn even harder still. But that's me being picky, really. Uh, I think overall, I would say that's that's going to hold you well. I'd probably just tighten up the uh, the walls. Um, in the sense that make sure that the barracks uh, things don't leak out. I also found on mine when I had the walls this close, um, um, 
it's the gaps I'm thinking about, by the way. You can just see there, can things, do, do, when they spawn, do they come straight out? Um, um, what I'd be thinking there is um, if you kind of put an extra wall uh, alongside, that obviously will, will retain it. But I, I, I also found when I went quite tight, like what you've got here, when things spawn, they kind of just spawn through the wall, if that makes sense. Uh, and the wall wasn't actually retaining them. So uh, have a little look at your replays and see if that's the case. Um, and then go from there. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, I'll obviously cancel it. I'll not attack you full on, but let's see what happens. Oh, piss. No, I won't. <laughs> not with that oil. Uh, yeah, I'm quite a bit away, and I never thought that. Right, no worries, mate. Uh, that's that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. I haven't really got much more I can add. Uh, it's, it's a good, strong base. Um, you'd expect that, obviously. You're 57. You'll have learned all the tricks by now, but uh, no, wonderful. Cheers, mate.